Greetings everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital and I'm bringing you back to the main screen because it's got this spooky pumpkin jack-o'-lantern thing and I thought that was cute. But welcome back to both Two Point Hospital after a bit of a break and to me recording after again a, a bit of a break. Ah, it's been a little while. Sandbox replay unlocked. I actually had an opportunity to uh, go and check this out uh, at TwitchCon, which was pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, check it out directly, but I saw a couple of people checking it out in, in the booth. Now, uh, 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 a bit of a forward, I do still have a lingering tale of the conflu. I am past the worst of it by far, but I've still got a bit of a tickly cough, and so you're going to hear me slurping from time to time. I'm going to do my best to cut that out, but I'm fairly certain that some of it will happen without me thinking about it, and so I won't think to cut it out. Um, I've, I've got like a gigantic mug of honey and lemon that is just scarcely, ju just slightly below the temperature where it would actually melt my throat. So it's in that, it's in that uncomfortably hot, but actually kind of good for me, heat range. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be slowly sipping this throughout this recording. But let's get back to Smogly. We're still on one star, my lord. Need to get that sorted. Ah, perhaps in this episode, if we're very lucky. Now, I've got a cure 30 patients in surgery. Uh, all right, then. And I've also got to get a cure rate of 75. Uh, I mean, you know, that's going to be something that we can do. Uh, right, we've got stupid amounts of money, though. All right, you can get a promotion. In fact, all my staff can have promotions. And we're also going to immediately buy this. Now, I do remember what we were meant to be working on. I know, right? It's been a long time, and I can still remember it. So, uh... Oh. Uh, I, I feel that that is lying to me. There we go. <laughs> That's a bit better. I mean, it's not better, but, you know, it's a bit more accurate at the very least. Right, let's uh, pop you down. I want, no, come on. Draw you out. Yoink. There we go. Right, want a door there? We prepared this room for this purpose, so let's get a mega scan in here right away. It's going to make it incredibly, incredibly valuable. Please do. That's a very valuable machine, too. Uh, there we go. Now, we're not going to be able to do too much in the way of making this room particularly beautiful. But we'll do our best, at least. Um, do we need a particularly large radiator? We've got servers at the back, so I'm just going to pop a regular radiator down here. Oh, I've missed playing this game. You've no idea how much I've missed playing this game, actually. Just sitting here, umming and ahhing over where I'm going to be placing a coffee machine and, and things. Ah, it, oh, it just makes me feel good. I know that sounds really dumb, but it does. I enjoy this game, what can I say? Uh, right, let's find a chair. Also, let's uh, go into this mode so I can see it a little bit better. Can I get a chair? There we are. Perfect. Let's slightly scans if we can. There we go. Looks so much better, in my opinion, if you do that. I'll also have you. Uh, okay, Jasmine Odyssey. Naturally. Uh, want a dog? Well... No, no, no. Let, let's dial back the doggers a little bit. I'm not sure that this, this room deserves a doggo poster yet, or doggo picture yet. We'll give you a certificate, though. But we'll hold back on the doggo. They, they, those are the big guns. You only get those when you, you've proven yourself worthy. There we are. And go. Now, let's have a quick look. Is this room warm? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. Perfect. Marvelous. The turbo plunger needs me. What? Oh, oh, that'll be the, uh, that'll be you, yes, okay. Man, three staff promotions, I mean, this is great, but wow. Let's get you all done. There we are. And you as well. Um, okay, we've got lots of dead people, that's super Straight bad, Straight out a but... new hobby over the weekend. Mm. Crashing weddings. What? Didn't work out so well. I ruined the cake. I don't think my car will ever be the same. Ah. Ah, Harrison I, I just don't even. <laughs> I knew where it was going as well. The moment he said, yeah, oh, yeah, I've got a new hobby crashing, I was like, oh, no, please. But no, no, it was. It went exactly where I suspected it would. Uh, I really do need to either get you somewhere or get you out of the hospital. You are very, very unwell. Uh, 88%? That's not good enough. You are... Got an appointment in psychiatry. Okay, you're currently in the appointment in psychiatry. Appointment in the GP's office next. 
Um, 82? Yeah, we're going with the 80s. 70s, no. We're gonna we're gonna put a halt on that one. However, health. If your health is low enough, then it's absolutely worth us uh, just sending you straight there, if we can. There's a point where it's like, look, you're gonna die. Go and get cured, please. Uh, there we are. Also, I've been told by quite a few people that that when I when I'm sick, my voice my voice gets a lot deeper. So I do apologize. I, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose. Hello. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an alternative pumpkin. I approve. Oh, cauldron as well. Marvelous. I mean, we're past the day, but I don't mind. We can keep you. There you are. Easy scan upgraded. Very nice. All right. Uh, however, I would like two new GPs, honestly. So let's grab two of you. Copy. Get you over here. I'm going to need to move you around a little bit, but... Mm. I mean... I like you. What the... What? The doggos are weeping green? But... What? I... I didn't notice. What the... I mean... I don't mind, actually. It's kind of cool, but... Uh, I'm going to give you... The sunflower. Try and offset the fact that the doggo is weeping green. That has got to be off-putting. On some level, that has genuinely got to be just extremely upsetting. Has this been changed? Really? They didn't change the clown poster. What a missed opportunity. If I was going to go for a Halloween-themed anything, the clown poster would have been my first Porto call. Come on. Absolute missed opportunity there. There we go. New GP, and I would like a new room. Can I not grab another one? Copy. I guess I'll have to Janitor do this. To repair Master. Right, need you two out of here. Need you across right there. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. It's fine. We'll also adjust these uh, windows. I really hate to have that fashionable actually worked out quite pelican well. wharfs gotten these days. Why? You can't order a beer without someone sticking a cocktail umbrella in it. I mean, that actually would be a little bit annoying. wouldn't serve you unless you were in the right brand of clothes. Stay okay. away from those places, listeners. Stay away. I, yeah, honestly, I, I'm with Harrison Wolf on this one. I'll, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, 100% with him on this. On the topic of drink, though, my lord, America. My goodness. <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat pleased that I'm not the only British person who suffered this. Though at the same time, I'm not sure I should be pleased. It's, it's kind of like, haha, at least I wasn't the only one miserable. But, one thing I will say about America that I was not expecting, at all, was the fact you don't measure your drinks. In Britain, there's a, you very, they very much do um, measure the, the shots. And so, you can quickly learn how much you can drink based on the amount of drinks you're having of a certain type, because they will always have the same amount of alcohol in them. Ah, not so in America. No, no, no. Don't measure your drinks, and as a result, yeah, it really does depend on how well you tip the barman, how much alcohol you're going to get in your drinks. And as someone who was not going to be the stereotypical Brit who tipped poorly, my drinks were very, very strong. Oh, I got ruined the first night I was there because I was not prepared. I knew that I could have Six Long Island iced teas, and that would be fine. I would, I would be, I would be merry. Well, very merry actually after that. But I was, I was, it was going to be okay. But no, no, I was not okay. And that was a, that was a very rude awakening. Like I said, fairly glad I wasn't the only Brit. The next day, I was wandering around, and everyone was like, "Oh my God, the drinks here!" It's like, yeah, it's one of those, very much one of those. It kind of. <laughs> kind of doomed by the kindness of others, really. You know, it, it's like, did I ever think that there would be a point in my life where I would be complaining about uh, having strong drinks? Or rather, lots of alcohol in my drink? No, no, I didn't. But, as it happens, ah, uh, well. Drink responsibly, everyone. And in America, that means being very, very, very careful. Very careful. Uh, right, we'll pop a games uh, cabinet there. 
Ah, oh, I've got so many stories from Twitch. I'm gonna try and try and rein them in a little bit. Otherwise, I'll just talk for ages. It was a really, really great time. I had so much fun, and I would very much like to go to the next one as well. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at this then. How are we doing? Hopefully, we're doing well. Open all. Yeah. No death is the only one we didn't have. I mean, arguably the more important of them all. Oh well. Yeah, that's that's super bad actually. Ah, honey lemon. Thank you for soothing my soul via my throat. Uh right. I think we need a marketing department. Well, the sharpish. We also desperately need more staff. And it's something I've been resisting because I want to train my staff up a lot, but really, I I just need more staff. Uh, once more money gets Solid Rage High Energy. I mean, High Energy. High Energy thrives when falling from great height. Uh, I, you're hired, but I am also I'm left with questions. Uh, positive, nasty, funny. Um, no, motivated, sarcastically frames trivial things. Uh, you're the general purpose doctor. Sure, I'll take you. And in fact, stay away as a general purpose doctor, week, a new no GPP epidemic has broken out. I'd like you to mostly run the clinics. For it. Hey, here's an idea for competition. Write in with your suggestions, and I'll submit the best one to the health authorities. Ha Harris, no. Harris, that is not a suitable con uh, That is not a suitable contest. No. Please don't. No, stop dying! You've pulled my cure rate down, you scallywags! Ungrateful! Also, so many ghosts. Let's get a new janitor who can catch ghosts. Class clown. Hired. Please be with the catching of the ghost. In fact, it's going to be pretty much your only job for now. That and fires. I will allow you to deal with fires also. I think that's fair. Oh, there we go. Uh, staff promotion. Let's get you up there. I hope you. I hope you're very proud of me. The, the fact that I'm not stopping constantly to cough because, oh my goodness, do I need to? Ah, uh, this is turning into a little mini game within a game. I'm basically suppressing my cough reflex. I'm, I'm, I'm having to pick my words very, very carefully to not use words that'll that'll vibrate my vocal cords at just the right right kind of frequency to cause the cough to to come out. Well, work for peanuts. Funny, you are higher. I like it. Announcement. Get you set up services. primarily. So you've also got treatment skills. Mm, okay. You've got one person who can use the mango scanner. That is not going to stand. Um, <clears throat> we have not got enough surgeons. Not nearly enough surgeons. But I can see two people who can become surgeons. So, well. Surgery. I would also like you because you've got treatment. So both of you will do. And I will take. Actually, I'm going to just pay someone to come and train you here. Yeah. Anyone else I want to take them on? Not particularly. Oh, uh, maybe. All right, all right. It's going to cost me a fair whack of money, but I think we can afford to do that. I usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had this great idea and I can't stop thinking about it. What if we were to, like, cure some people? Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, yeah, actually, I, I think uh, you and I are on the same page. I feel that this is necessary. Yes, yes, I know a lot of our staff have free training slots, but my training room is currently occupied, can't you see? Thankfully, the queues are down a little bit, though. Uh, that one doesn't have a doctor in it, unfortunately. Uh, all right. You can go in there because you are a capable GP. Somewhat. There we are. Nothing else for you, though. GP or research, that is your lot in life. Um. No. I'm gonna have to say no. We don't need the money, and we would get lots of deaths if I did that. Drop. <sighs> okay. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. So many people are dying because they're waiting for bloody surgery. It takes a long time. We need another surgery. That much is obvious to me now. The amount of people waiting for surgery is kind of terrible. 
All right. Um, you got an appointment in the GP's office. Uh, let's go for diagnosis. Let's just get rid of some of these cues if we can. Can't get rid of you. Nope, can't get... Wow, really? Uh, can move you along, but I don't actually think it's, ne it's necessary. So, all right, then. Well, my plan is twofold. One, we're going to have a new surgery. We're also going to have move the ward over here. And I'm going to replace this with marketing. Possibly with another GP's office as well down there. Uh, over there, then, we're going to have a couple of extra um, devices here and there. You know what? It's been a little while. I'd like to watch. Best of luck. I mean, hopefully luck isn't involved in treatment, but... I mean, you know, just... <laughs> let's be realistic. It is in, in, in my hospital. You're just rolling a dice, really. Uh, well done. You seem to have survived. Your... Your... Strength safe. Because I'm, I'm going to say that that was definitely a strength test. There. Your strength safe was sufficient. Well done. Uh, any other interesting bits and bobs? Why are you dressed? What? That? Okay. Not gonna ask questions. Please stop weeping acid on my stuff. That must be acid because it's going through the table. You see? It, it, you can't see the hole. Very. They're, they're micro. They're nano holes. But it's a very potent acid. We're lucky it's not going through the floor. It might be. Uh, it would be hard to see because you know the aforementioned nano Doctor holes. Okay, doctor's off to pants up. All right, okay. Time for us, then, to hire one or two more people, namely assistance this time. Hi, Trini. Accidentally voted for Tabitha. Everyone deserves a second chance, Tabitha Muffin. I can see why you might have accidentally done it. You thought you were voting for yourself. Easy mistake to make. You are hired. Next up, uh, hangry, charming, morally ambiguous. Oh. Thinks that life is a wrong con. Positive. Admires anyone that can whistle. Uh, oh, sorry, whittle. Ah. Uh, as the son of a carpenter, I, I feel a certain kinship with you. Very well, you are hired. There we are. Uh, oh. We cure 10 patients. That, that was actually kind of fast. How? Wow. I, I don't even. I'm shocked. In a good way. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll bring you along. But, 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 but. We need. We, we actually very, very much need. Um, to move in the ward and the surgery. Let's um, we finish surgery. Actually, let's uh, slow things down a moment. Surgery is finished. That's great. Got a load of people who can now do surgery. Ah, uh, I like the pie chart. With bits eaten out of it. Literally, that is an act. What? I didn't realize that was what it was until I zoomed in. And then it was like, oh, well, okay. Uh, right. Not now. I want to have a look at my stuff. Your in salt levels dangerously low. Uh, hopefully not. Like genuinely, Eat I really some hope. briny brittle. The taste of the sea, right in your mouth. Twenty-four hours a day. I'm going to go. This with... is two, two point radio. Yeah, we're gonna get you trained. Let's get you over there. We want general practice three. And it's gonna have to be a guest trainer here. Oh, what? Really? I'm so glad I'm playing this while all of the um, Halloween stuff is still there. That's amazing! I approve! Go forth. The health minister is arriving. That is just genuinely fantastic. Marvelous, in fact. Right, well, while that's going on, let's go ahead and uh, build. Oh, can I just copy this? Bomp. I can, more or less. Do I want to, though? Or would I rather make something bespoke? I kind of want to make something bespoke. So, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll dump that and we'll make something bespoke. Now, where do we want to fit it in? Uh, the surgery does not need to be as big as the ward. That is a reality. Yeah, let's get a nice gigantic... No, 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 no. Gigantic ward. If we don't do this enough. And I'm going to sink in a little bit of it. About there. We'll have a door here. Plenty of windows. Like so. There Doctor we are. To make a scan, please. 
up. Okay, now I would like to have two changing areas. Good, good, good. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to go for loads and loads and loads of beds. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'd also like to leave enough room for us to have lots of items around here. So, something like this. Doctor needed in GP's office. I think that might be good enough. That being said, we just rotate you around. I can probably get another one down here as well. Sort of. As much as I like having the windows there, if I get rid of one of those and pop you over here instead. The same with you. And I can have another bed in that nook. And it'll look glorious. This will be a mega ward. Get some windows around there as well. Uh, we won't have any other windows. Next, we're at level two so far. Pop down a couple of these. I'm not gonna go. Well, I was gonna say I'm not gonna go overboard with these, but they're actually very, very useful and they keep people alive. So maybe I should. You know, this is a ward at the end of the day. Plants uh, need water. Get a couple of cabinets in here as well. Oops. Another one if we can fit it. There we are, perfect. However, for most of these areas, then I want a couple of. Ah, crap. This one just go up this side then. Wherever it needs to go to fit. And I want it to kind of have that lived in feel as well. You don't get one, I guess. Uh, that won't do. So, well, we position this one like so, and actually I'm going to have this one just kind of squiff to the side there. And once again, pop a couple of these down over here. That one's going to be a difficult one to position, though. I'm afraid you're just not going to have one. So sorry, but I can't fit one in there. You're on the air with uh -huh. Ricky Hawthorne. Hello, Ricky. Well, I've missed actually, you. actually, I'm the one who's on the air. That is true. You're just listening to me being on the air. I, that is you're actually... You're listening to the air. What? Don't blow my mind, Ricky. It's too soon. I haven't been home long enough. Bloody Ricky. Uh, we will definitely have a sunflower to remind people nice happy thoughts and then a rose on this side much the same there we go. these are going to drink a lot of water though so we're going to need to be on the ball with watering in this room um I do think that my uh, nurse are going to my nurses rather there's going to need to be more than one they're going to need a couple of things, so we'll just set this up there. Uh, maybe even something like this and then a yucca there. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Slide you across. Perfect. Actually, at that point, we might not need these. In fact, I haven't even put posters in yet, so I should probably get on that first. Uh, the bluish car. Your car is being taken for cubing. That's I'm sure you deserve it, you scallywag. Thank you. Those those lines are painted on the road for a reason. Not meant to park there. Uh, no, I'm not going to be a complete jerk. That would be a massive jerk. It's like, yeah, it's leaking acid, but, you know, it's a doggo, so you get it above your bed. Uh, Dresden Odyssey, obviously. We're almost there. I'm very close. Like, a room this big should be a level 5, I think. We're doing ourselves a disservice if we don't get it there. Um, we can probably get a little bit closer by having some more medicine cabinets in here. And at the end of the day, they are going to help. So, I'm alright with this. Go ahead and do that. Okay, that's pretty good. And then maybe... Don't necessarily want that in the open. 
It would cause sight issues. Hooray! We will get a clock though. All right, let's see if that that works. Donk. Okay. Now we're gonna want, yeah, at least two people there as optional nurses, and then this one can be sold. All of it. Goodbye. Pomp. Sorry. So sorry. Massive scallywag, I know. All right, let's go ahead and pop down some heating just for the time being. One there for now. If I pop one over here as well, that's going to make... Oh, actually, that area isn't too hot. We'll move them around as necessary. But for the time being, let's just warm this place up. There we are. Right. <clears throat> let's get... Well, hopefully, you're not going to have to wait too long when you come down here, so... I'm not sold on the idea of putting too much seat in there. Let's definitely get you some... Some things to keep yourselves occupied. Nice yucca there. And maybe <clears throat> a poster? No, uh, we can't really fit it in. Jasper Odyssey? We can. Today's Bump. weather report. The sun is out again. Hooray. It may be obscured by dark clouds, oh, no. but I'm pretty sure the sun is right there behind them. And really, just think of the marvel that is the sun. Every single day, without fail, it shows up to light up our streets. And try to kill our faces, me. Burn our ants. And let's not burn our ants. Air. What? Where would we be without that? Stay tuned for the traffic report. Sometimes I do wonder what Ricky has before his show. I'm fairly certain what's in that cup is not coffee. And what's in those brownies is not just chocolate. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, it's not, not the bestest of rooms, but it'll do for now. Um, let's have a look. Start promotion. Let's get you going. Womp, promoted. Now, we need to train some more staff, I think. But before we get to that... Most Basic important of important things. We need a marketing department. Oops, I keep forgetting how to build. Are you having a cafe? We're just gonna go for a regular marketing department. There we are. Alright, okay. In fact, we could possibly even make this a bit larger, too. Yeah, I think this will work. So, okay, lava lamps, first and foremost, corners of the rooms. Come on. It's marketing. Of course it's going to have lava lamps. Maintenance announcement. We need will a full. meeting table. Have that there and we can decorate the wall nearby. Or on a drawing board so that people get somewhere to go back to. Two of them in fact. And a marketing desk. Be s no, I'm not going to make it slightly askance. That, that would rot my brain. I'm not sure if... It would be funny to do that to the marketing department or not, but it would it would hurt me. It's a, at that point, you have to really review your jokes. If your jokes involve hurting yourself, it's like, eh, maybe you can think of a different way of doing this. We definitely want uh, two of these. And there, there we go. And we're gonna want a nice big heater in here. Well, hopefully we do. Let's get sweets. Pop those down. I also had an opportunity to uh, check out Google's HQ while I was in uh, San Francisco. That, uh, sorry, YouTube's HQ, not Google's. Um, but that was actually incredible. So they're, they're renovating part of the building right now, so uh, there, there were lots of like constructing areas, but it was actually a really, really awesome opportunity. I was very, very pleased to, to go and check out. And uh, I attended a game night with a bunch of people who worked there. And we just played board games and werewolf and various other games, actually. It was, it was actually really fun. Uh, played Codename as well. That was awesome. I've not played that game before. Uh, we'll also get a food pyramid here as well. Um, sure, all right, you can have a rose. I suppose. Almost level, level five, actually. Really? Why have we? Okay, Time you know what? I'm not going to come back. News around the Go. County. Well, Let's have a look. look at that. That looks like such a comfy Nothing room. Nothing at all has happened today. Ah, uh, well, you know what they say. No news is good news. Um, I'm not sure that's actually the saying, but. Assistant required in 
I'm just cool with that. Right, generally speaking, we want to increase our reputation. Uh, boost our reputation by commissioning a series of pro-hospital posters around the county. Give our reputation a massive boost of the huge TV campaign featuring superstar actor Roderick Cushion. Well, wouldn't mind doing a doctor campaign, but, um... Yeah, let's go for a regular campaign there. Just to boost our reputation. A wee bit. Uh, decision Rash. Mm, yeah, sure, we'll take that. Franklin Field. Franklin Field is request for us. What do you think? I've always wanted to see a large sum of money. I think we can easily do that. Sure. Eleven people. That is just awful. So bad. But it's the only place with a queue. So we might be able to just go ahead, copy this room. Yoink. Thank you. And pop it in. Twice. One there. That I think will work well. Do I want to move things around? I'm actually kind of pleased with the way the room is. It's cool. It's fine. And then copy it again. I do need to rotate these around though. Unfortunately, that will not work as it is. Surgery, calling doctor. Uh, right, gonna have to move a lot of these around. In fact, gonna have to just get rid of some of these while I make room. Okay. Do need this in here. No matter what else I need that there. Can I squeeze in another Jasmine Odyssey poster? I can. Okay, going. There we are. Marvelous. Uh, we have impressed the VIP with a nice hospital. Tarquin Foxbridge just sent us a handwritten note. I'm surprised to say that you are actually doing rather well. I don't know how you've managed it, but keep it up. Uh, I suppose. Ah, uh, Tarquin. Never change. Only please do. Uh, right, let's pop down some more benches, because we are going to need way too. Mm. Down here. Now we've got jumbo nuts. I wouldn't mind getting some moose juice over here. And I take it in. Can't fit one in there, unfortunately. Uh, I can fit one down there, though, without too much issue. And one down there as well. Okay, that should take care of our immediate concerns. Doctor required to run mega scanner. Maybe a tiny heater? I'm thinking a tiny heater just about there would do wonders. Yeah. And then we want to make this area a bit prettier, so... Um, acid on your head whilst you're waiting. Also, notice board. And a clock. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Alright, that should help us out a little bit. We should be able to start curing the patients that we need to cure to get a two star hospital. I'm pretty happy with that. The mega scanner. Oh my lord. That's a lot of people waiting for that. That's a little bit frightening. Uh, let's have a look at our patients to see if we can help out a little bit. Alright, so pause time. Played too many games recently with space pauses. Uh, you can just go straight on, as can you. 86%? Uh, no, you're fine. 86%? Well, you're already going in, I guess. 83%? That's fine. 80 or oh, you're going close now. You're next in line. 78. Yeah, we're, we're going to wait on those. Uh, but, of those with very low health, does anyone need to be moved on? Like, you've got a small chance to survive. Um, I'm not sure where you're going, but... Right, like, you can go straight away. Uh, you've got a decent diagnosis level. As to you, so you can go as well. Okay. Taking a little bit of micromanaging to get things going okay, but I think we're making progress. Right, let's have a look here. Wouldn't mind, actually, yes. We've had a bit of excitement in the studio today. A squirrel Hooray. came in off the street and managed to break into our old record Ooh. room. After we chased him out, we found he'd taken an album out of its sleeve. So here it is, the squirrel's favorite I, record. I mean, honestly, that's, that's as good a selection criteria as anything else. Well done. We've successfully completed the request from Franklin Field. Hooray! 
I am pleased. Right. Let's go ahead and get some more people training then, I think. Let's have a quick look at our doctors. We've got one, two who could do a little bit more training. Uh, well, we could get two more GPs trained up. Well, actually, no, three more GPs trained up to GP level two, which would actually be very, very nice. Alternatively, I could get some more people trained for Mega Scan, which is also quite nice. Um, no, no, I think we're going to go with uh, GP training too. Let's get everyone trained for that if I can. Well, no, we'll just get you to train for that. Uh, you're never going to be that, that good. No, go on then. Um. I'm just going to have a gas trainer coming for this one. The training should be over and done with pretty sharpish. Have a look at this place. Doing good, I hope. Who's waiting for what? Um, oh, okay. Reasonable amount of people waiting for both. Good. We're a decent cure rate. We're starting to cure patients nice and fast, but we definitely need more nurses at this point. Ooh, short temper now. No, you're, you're not a good nurse. Natural mental vengeful. <laughs> You are hired. I am amused and it's making me cough. Oh my lord, I need to sort out my nurses. Uh, still, that was good. Uh, thank you very much for the chuckle. Has potential. Nearly got to the top of the pointy mountains. Uh, three fingers until I saw on cotton. Unmotivated. Uh, no, I think we'll take you. There you go. Enjoy. We will get everyone else sorted soon. Now, down here... I want a canteen and also a lavatory. Um, but I'm not sure what else we want. At the moment, I think we're doing okay with the amount of cure devices we have. So maybe we don't need anything else. Uh, at present, though, are there things that I can improve? I don't think I feel that we can do with more. Things that life is a rom com knows how to swim. Very well. Let's get you sorted. Uh, good. I would like you to mostly focus on these. There you go. Special report. I cured three out of five patients. Eh, I mean, it's not terrible, I thought. Uh, our hospital has staff morale of 80%. That's way better. It's 1% better. I mean, I appreciate your, your general sense of positivity, but at the same time, I feel that you're, you're having a bit of a laugh, really. Nevertheless, I, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how we've expanded. We've managed to deal with a couple of queues, but I'm still seeing lots of doctor requests. That isn't so good. But then we've got a lot of doctors currently in training, so... Um, charming. There's nothing like a burp. And now, burp soda comes in three new flavors. With 23% more I don't fits. think that's good. Open your mouth yeah, and have a not burp. Not so sure about it. 24 hours a day. Thank you. This is Unmotivated, inspiring, literal, funny, positive, afraid of ladies. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, afraid of ladles. Lady ladles, maybe, I don't know. Uh, perhaps the anthropomorphizes, the la ladles, and then, then gets, gets is particularly afraid to, to engage with the lady ladles. Nevertheless, that sounds rude somehow, but I can't even think of how it could be taken in a rude way. Even though there's some part of my brain that said, yeah, you're calling something lady ladles. There must be a way you could take that route. I'm sure the internet will find a way. But I, I consider it a point in favor of my character that I genuinely can't think of a way that, that can be turned into something sexual. Well done, me. Oh, my lord. Inspiring, the girl next door believes all lucky numbers are actually unlucky in some kind of cosmic joke. You are hired. So hired. You're massively hired right now. And the only... Oh, 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 come back. What? Please don't tell me I just sat here. Please. No, I think this was you. Oh, whew. Uh. No, 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 no. You do one job. And you do it very well. Carry on doing that one job. Now. You're kind of a little bit of everything. I'm going to take you. Despite your fear of, of Lady Ladle. Uh, perhaps you can cure yourself a bit. You are a psychologist. Um, oh, actually, yes, I guess, kind of. You don't have any treatment skills, so you're not going to do any treatment, but you, you, uh, you're, you're always going to cost a lot of money. Hello. But it's fine. 
animal magnetism. We have no treatment rooms of this type in the hospital. Why yes? I think we're gonna take, take you. All right, seven patients. Let's get the animal, the, the pest control room up and running. We need a four by four. I think we can absolutely make this happen. Uh, we'll do a four by four around here. Dunk. Pop you in there and get this in position. Well, they will do. Let's get a window. In fact, several windows. We haven't got a control in this room, which is fine. Uh, we will have a fire extinguisher right next to the door. You know, because again, if someone needs to put out a fire, it makes sense for them to be able to quickly get to the device by which they are going to put out the fire. Let's get this in here as well. And the reason why I add all of these is just because it takes the edge off my uh, staff's needs a little tiny bit. And it is a tiny bit, unfortunately, but you know, any, every little bit helps, in my opinion. Uh, we'll have, where's the hand sanitizer? There we go, we can probably squeeze that in as well, perfect. All right, and then we just want to decorate the room out a little bit. We'll have a notice board on this side. We will also have a gold star. Oh, oh, I like it. I like this. I approve. Um, well, in honor of this music, we're going to have the uh, acid leaking doggo. Let's have a look. Pretty warm-ish. Good enough. And we are going to pop down a couple of seats outside. Not a huge amount. Well, actually, maybe we should have a few because at the end of the day, we do. We are going to have seven people in here waiting on us. So we'll have a stand of magazines. Then we want some moose juice. You know what, let's go for cheesy gummies this time. And on that note, we're gonna need a bin. We can just squeeze that in on the side there. Oh. Now, how pretty is this? Not pretty is the answer. So we're gonna want something nice like a rose. Right there. Yes, it needs a lot of watering, but it'll do a fairly good job of keeping this place really nice and very, uh, very engaging. Uh, just drop down a couple more. Items here and there, hither and yon. I'd like a, a notice board and some children's paintings. I assume they're, they're painted by children. Uh, and some phones. There we go. I think that'll do very well indeed. Fantastic! Okay. Now we just need to wait for the emergency to arrive. Um, I'm displeased with the amount of people who are really, really ill, but hopefully we can get things moving a little bit better. We're almost done on this marketing campaign as well, and with that done, oh, new illness discovered, animal magnetism, well, yes, yeah, caused by mutated pheromones and or cheap deodorant. Oh well. Everyone out here waiting for... Yeah, most people out there are waiting. Well, in fact, everyone there is waiting for the surgery. Now, this ward will be able to go over there to this this little group of GPs, should they want to. And there we are. The small marketing campaign is done. Has that affected our reputation very much? No, it hasn't, really. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap up today's episode by checking on... Oh, my lord. Ah. Uh, not great. I mean, we're, we're st in terms of money, we're doing all right. Staff... Not terrible. Morale seems to be fairly good, actually. Uh, we could drop our break policy a little bit. I feel that we don't need that many days on break. 15 days is more than enough, I feel. Now, we'll see how that affects the energy overall. That's why I put coffee in everyone's room. As for our reputation, man, medical is kind of bad. That's not so good. Ineffective cures, fatalities, and ridiculously high amounts of cures, but 99 deaths. I mean, they don't like the prices easy either, so. All right, you know what, let's, uh, there we go. Drop them all by 10%. That should help out a little bit 
to restoring our reputation. We've already got, by far, the level that we require. Cure rate is, you know, hovering around the place it needs to be. We've got a lot of people we need to cure for surgery. Oh, we've got an awful lot of staff that we need to train, but we're going to be checking that out in the next episode. I do hope you have enjoyed the return to the series, and indeed the return to me putting videos up on the channel. I'm sorry for the long break. Bloody con flu. I will know to prepare better next time. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, to take care, everyone.